Hello, can you hear me? Riddle! Professor Dumbledore, I had to see for myself if the rumours were true. They are true. About the school as well? I don't have a home to go to. They wouldn't really close Hogwarts, would they, Professor? I understand, Tom. But I'm afraid... Dot, if the person responsible was caught... Is there something you wish to tell me? No, sir. Nothing. Off you go. Good night, sir. Monsters don't make good pets, Hagrid. Stand aside, Hagrid. I can't let you go. They'll have your wand for this, Hagrid. You'll be expelled. But only just. A memory. Preserved in a diary for 50 years. Jenny, please don't be dead. Wake up. You've got to help me, Tom. This is a basilisk. It won't come until it's called. It was Ginny Weasley who opened the Chamber of Secrets. No, she couldn't. She wouldn't. It was Ginny who set the basilisk on the mudbloods and Filch's cat. Ginny who wrote the threatening messages on the walls. But why? Because I told her to. You'll find I can be very persuasive. Who should find it but you? The very person I was most anxious to meet. I knew I had to talk to you, meet you if I could. So I decided to show you my capture of that brainless oaf Hagrid. It was my word against Hagrid's. Only Dumbledore seemed to think he was innocent. He kept an annoyingly close watch on me after that. I knew it wouldn't be safe to open the chamber again while I was still at school, so I decided to leave behind a diary, preserving my 16-year-old self in its pages so that one day I would be able to lead another to finish Salazar Slytherin's noble work. Well, yeah. Haven't I told you? Killing mudbloods doesn't matter to me anymore. For many months now, my new target has been you. Was able to defeat the greatest wizard of all time. Voldemort is my past, present, and future. Surely you didn't think I was going to keep my filthy muggle father's name? No. I fashioned myself a new name, a name I knew wizards everywhere would one day fear to speak when I became the greatest sorcerer in the world. Dumbledore's been driven out of this castle by the mere memory of me. Atas Selithain. Let's match the power of Lord Voldemort, heir of Salazar Slytherin, against the famous Harry. And I will cease to be a memory. Very much. Alive. You'll be with your dear mudblood mother soon, Harry. Funny, in the hands of a silly little girl. What are you doing? Stop! Oh, no.